let you do it. But right here. If you couldn't tell, Ryan Myers was very excited to be interviewing some of the celebrities who turned up for opening night of the new Broadway musical New York, New York. And Tony Danza thought Rye was up here when he needed to be right here. It's so great, right, to be in, uh, here at New York, New York? Absolutely. Right. We just saw John Relax Kander. a little. You're more excited than we were. Make it easy. It's exciting. It's a great night. I know, night. I know, I know, I know. Okay. <laughs> now, while Lin-Manuel Miranda had no problem answering this New York question. And pick your favorite New York City staple item for food. We have hot dog or pizza? Uh, grandma Slice from Patsy on 46th Street. Oh, I'll have to try that. That's a very good Very one. good. Tony wasn't willing to play ball. Now, what's your favorite New York City staple food item? Is it a pizza or hot dog? You know what? You got to do money. You got to come up with better questions. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I got to go. Thank you, Tony. Right posted the Danza moment on TikTok, adding the text to the video, well, you can't please everyone. And if you didn't wish to be interviewed, you could have said no. In his TikTok caption, Rye wrote, as a red carpet reporter, I'm here to help bring excitement to your event and promote it. I love chatting with Broadway and entertainment's best as your Broadway and entertainment BFF. Okay, that's weird. On the thumbnail, he added, the rudest celebrity I've ever interviewed. And you can see that the video has racked up 260,000 views on TikTok since Rye posted it on Thursday. And one of those views was Michael Buble, who commented, I think you're amazing, Rye. I'll have a pizza with you. Let's not invite Tony. Well, on Sunday, three days after Rye posted the Danza moment, he shared this update. I did hear from Tony Danza earlier today. He called me to apologize and squash the beef. It was great to hear from him and certainly much appreciated. Well, that's that. I know I have a very unique perspective on this because I've interviewed on, I don't even know how many red carpets. Um, I've certainly experienced all those things that Rye experienced to various degrees. I mean, I've definitely had a celebrity make a comment about me. John Relax Kander. a little. You're more excited than we are. I look at it as a great opportunity to banter with someone. So yeah, it creates this very looseness to the interview. I don't get offended if they take a jab at me. I'll take a jab right back, right back at them. So it's kind of fun. You've got to come up with better questions. I haven't had anyone ever say you need to ask better questions or walk away after I've asked a certain question. I've had certain questions get shut down, but that's more that they don't want to talk about it. It's not a very frivolous question like a pizza or hot dog question. Come on, let's go. I got to go. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. Was Tony rude? Yeah. And I wouldn't say because of what Tony says. Let's say he was impolite with what he said. Tony was rude when he put his hand on Rye. I think that's what really crosses the line for me. So yeah, Tony was right to apologize, but it's also clear to me that Rye is trying to utilize Tony's misstep as a stepping stone for his own career. I'm not saying he's right or wrong for doing that. I'm just, you know, let's call a spade a spade here. Even after he tells us that Tony called to apologize, Rye adds, If you're curious and you want to know more, feel free to reach out and I'd be happy to tell you. So yeah, he doesn't want to say anything more on his own TikTok and he's hoping that other media outlets will reach out to him and then he'll be able to, you know, grow his audience a little bit more. Once again, I'm not saying it's a good or bad thing that he's doing that. I'm just saying that's what he's doing here. But yeah, what are your thoughts on Tony's less than excited response to Rye's red carpet interview?